Hello, Cool Beans parents and families. Welcome back to our Cool Bean Learning Station. Today, we are going to talk about one-to-one -one correspondence in addition using the 10 frame. But before we get started, let's warm up with the book. The name of our story today is Counting is Fun and is compiled by Jesse Harvey. In my opinion, counting is fun. We think counting is fun. We like to count. One, two, three, four, five. And if you notice, they also have up their fingers to represent the numbers. I count when I play games. I count the pieces. I count the dots. How many dots do we see on this top part of the domino? One, two, three, four. How about the bottom part? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We count when we go on trips. Who likes to go on field trips? I do. Let's see how many friends are going on this one. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want everyone to be safe. You have to be safe. So count how many children you have on the school bus. We count when we cook. We want the food to be good. Oh, they have to count out how many measurements, how much measurements they're using. Ah, they have a measuring cup and teaspoons. That is counting. We count when we shop. I help count our money. Uh-huh, you do have to count to you be able to use money. I count when I swim. Who likes to swim? I do, I do. And I can stay underwater. Let's see, he has one, two, three, four, five, six fingers up, and he has six on his stopwatch. That must mean he stayed under for six seconds. Wow, he must be a good swimmer. We count when we race. We all start at the same time. Three, two, one, go! Look at that, even the doggy is racing. That's silly. We think counting is fun. What are some of the things that are fun for you to count? Can you guys think about that? That's a great question. What do you like to count at home? All right, I'll see you guys soon. Cool Beans out. Good morning, Cool Beans. Welcome back to our Cool Beans Learning Station. Today, we are going to be working with the 10 frame. And the 10 frame is a great tool to get your little ones started with understanding the base 10 learning system. So for this activity, we're going to have our dots and our number dice. Or dice, since it's only one. Now, this for this, you know, I always like to do a warm-up. So first, let's go over some of the numbers that we can find on our die. Do remember, when you go over the number with your little ones, don't do it in order. That's too easy for them. Take it out of my order so that we can see that they actually do understand and recognize the numbers that you're showing them. Are you ready? All right, my friends, we'll start with this one. What number is this? That's right. That's the number one. How about this one? What number do you see? I'll wait for you to scream it out at me. Yes, four. Oh, how about this one? I heard you. That's the number two. How about this one right here? Can you see it? Yes, number three. How about this one? That's right, did you say five? I think I heard you, number Five. And then how about this guy right here? I know we don't see him quite as often yet. That's the number zero. Very, very good. So for our 10th frame game today, we're going to throw the die up in here, catch it, and then we have to fill in our 10th frame with our dots to see what number corresponds, what amount corresponds with the number given. All right, are you ready? Let's go. What number is that? Number three? Okay, can you help me put three dots onto our frame? Here we go, count with me. Encourage your little one to count with you as you go along. One, two, three. Good job, did you all stop with the number three? Very good, don't go past it. When we do it, I want you to say, stop, Miss Allison. All right, are you ready? Let's do it again, let's throw it up. What number did we land on? That's right, the number four. All right, help me count in 
and tell me when to stop. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Stop. Oh, I'm so glad you told me to stop. Are you ready? Here we go again. Which one did we get this time? Did we end up on the number two? All right, you have to help me count. Are you ready? Here we go. You have to tell me to stop so I don't go past it. One, two, three. Oh, stop. You're right. I have to stop at two. One, two. I almost went to three. Stop. Thank you for stopping me. Are we ready? Here we go. Let's see. Oh, this is a big one. Number five. Can you help me count to number five without stopping me and then stopping when I'm supposed to? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, stop. Okay, I stopped. Thank you so much for stopping me, my friends. Oh, let's count those ones more since that was a big one. Let's count them together one more time. One, two, three, four. Five for the number five. Good job. Five dots go with the number five. They correspond. All right. Are you ready? Did we do a number zero yet? I don't think we did that zero. The zero is a little tricky, right? Because what does zero mean? How many do I pull out? Do I pull out two? One, two? No, that's not zero. Do I pull out five? No, that's not zero either. Zero means none. I'm not going to put anything on here. Zero means I don't have any. So there are no dots to put in here. If I have zero, I just don't have anything. I'm not going to put anything down. Okay? Let me count. All right. Did we do them all? Oh, we didn't do this simple one. Number what? Number one. All right. Remember, tell me to stop. One. Yes, you're right. That's it. Just one. All right, my friends. If you are able to do this video and you're going to try something a little bit more difficult, stay tuned for the next video because in that one, we're going to do 10 frame with addition. So and that's another excellent part about the 10 frames that I don't think I mentioned. The 10 frame will help you with addition, subtraction, and even place value later on. So stick with us. And I'll see you next time. Movies out. Bye-bye.